exceptional talent. So it's like, really believe that, and then you become untouchable. I want to be part of this next wave coming through, and uh, this is my time, you know? The, all the old boys, they're getting older, and I've got to make it, go and steal the show and make a statement, and by any means necessary. <laughs> Those are the words of Daniel Dubois as you heard him say that he feels that he is the next new blood, the next, the new kid on the block. He is ready by any means necessary. Uh, let me counterpunch. Um, I think Daniel Dubois was a bit exposed against Joe Joyce, especially being a slower fighter like Joe Joyce. Um, it just shows you where the defense should be. Uh, looking at a few training sessions of Daniel Dubois, I haven't really seen them work with his head movement. Not to say they haven't, okay? I just haven't seen it. And a lot of times when you don't see something, you know, that could be nor here nor there, but it just makes you wonder. Um, I'm the type of person, I'm very sticklerish when it comes to mistakes and that's in everything when you do something and you make a mistake doing it that's always on your mind the mistake's always there it's like second nature you know especially when boxing when it comes to something that you do or or when it comes to an error that you made you learn from that error and each and every day you want to think about that error that you made hopefully not to make other errors but you know in boxing he didn't move his head so his head movement will always be questionable uh, to me. Uh, but I think he took that L. I hope he learned from that L. Uh, Trevor Bryant, is he is preparing himself. Daniel Dubois looks very good. He looks like he's ready to fight like he always does. And I just hope they are anticipating going the distance, working on the de defense instead of just the blasting Frank Bruno-ish offense that he's been accustomed to blasting guys out one, two rounds, you know, and you really don't develop a fighter that way. You just see his power, but it's more than just power. It's more than just punching someone, you know, it's hitting without being hit. And I think they're failed to realize that not saying Shane McGuigan is not a good coach. I think he is a very good coach. I just think that they should work more on defense when you're coming when, when you're talking about someone that already has the offense, Danny Dubois has great punch variety. He throws combinations. He will open up on you, especially when he has you hurt because he's done it so many times over, you know, with uh, equal to lesser opposition of fighters. But still, if you hurt someone, I don't give a shit who it is, and you open up on them, you know, the experience factor will apply. But, you know, you hit anyone, they can go out just like that. So he has that, I feel. And I just, I just would like to see more defense from Daniel Dubois, but it should be one hell of a fight. I'm not crazy about the undercard of this fight. It's June 11th, I believe, but it is a Don King show, old school, all in America, baby, type of promotion. So we just have to wait and see how that goes. That, was, that should be very interesting. But you guys tell me what you think of Daniel Dubois wanting to step up, being the new kid on the block, being the new blood. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.